Oh, what's going on everyone? All right, so I did a video last week. I uh, thought I'd go ahead and do one this week. Not much has changed. Uh, still haven't done a water change. Uh, I did make the salt water. I uh, just got busy last weekend. I am getting ready to do one on the tank now. Uh, I am shooting this on a different phone. So I'm hoping <laughs> that we can get some better, better images. Uh, let's see. So the little green patch that I was talking about. Let me see if I can zoom in on it here i have to come down here whoa so it's that part right in the middle that guy right there so if i come back out to where it'll actually kind of focus on it um <laughs> cat just scratched my leg uh but that's a little green patch that i was talking about last time uh you can kind of see the Monty here a little bit better. Just hoping I can get the light to turn down for you, but let's see. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So if we come back out, as you can see, I do have a little bit of a little bit of stuff on the sand here. Uh, this camera is not quite doing as well as the GoPro did, but. Just, like I say, you know, trying to get a video going, trying to keep you guys updated. There's the thing. Expensive little fish now. Those used to be 36 bucks. Now, that tang <laughs> is like 450, 430, 450. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. All right, so our urchin has a uh, picked up a shell and is just kind of carrying it around with him right oh um i have flipped that guy over multiple times and he just keeps ending up on his back and there's one back there too i don't know god what the hell there's one right there so yeah uh the shrimp or shrimp snails that we bought are kind of idiots there's a white one right there he's a uh, he's actually on uh one's foot so the a cans are looking a little better uh you can see there that's the ones with the purple ring kind of hard to see it in this uh this camera these guys are doing a little bit better uh you know they're nice and open and these guys are looking about twice as good so uh been been feeding them and you know there we go uh as far as down here so i did empty the skimmer i made these little rings right here and i ran out of filament that's why the uh bottom of them is red <laughs> ran out of black uh but that just stops a lot of the splashing and yeah i've seen a pretty decent reduction in splashing by putting those rings in there uh skimmer right now is being weird uh i've changed nothing about it but yeah it's just being weird so the macro algae has gotten smaller i know that red light's really messing with it uh, but it has gotten smaller, and I think that has quite a bit to do with all the stuff floating in the water column. Uh, yeah. So this this right here is just alkalinity. Uh, this is where I set that cup right back there. And yeah. But now I'm trying to figure out if I want to go ahead and clean out the sump. I kind of need to. Or if I just want to take it out of the tank and... Uh, do it that way uh, I did dose alkalinity I actually overdosed and then a couple days later I checked it again and I was right at 9.5 uh, so that's all well and good but anyway this is just kind of this week's update and yeah things are well <laughs> not dying let's see let me see if I can get a good look now, these guys ain't really open that much but yeah, that's the uh, firework clove polyps. And that one on the left there, he's kind of open. 
but yeah these guys are I don't know real slow growing unlike these stupid things those things they just keep growing but and then of course you have my oldest astrea snail got all kinds of those damn uh, snails or worms or whatever all over his shell let's see if we can zoom into them yeah it doesn't look too good you can see him actually move he usually doesn't move during the day so let's see go back down to one all right so i guess i'm gonna have to flip three snails over and yeah but anyway that's the uh update this week and uh, for all you guys that did uh comment on the forum i do greatly appreciate it and uh yeah hope to hear more from you and james take that kid to the aquarium man take him over there give him a behind the scenes look because i don't know with the way you're talking i think he will really really enjoy it so anyway guys we will see you guys in the next one later